Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on SAP SD real time scenarios. In other words, we can say that it's an SAP SD enhancements. So when you go for an interview, if they ask about any enhancements that we have worked on in our project, we can strongly speak about this business scenarios or requirements. This is requirements as well as enhancements. So it is not achievable through standard SAP functionality. It can be enhanced only. Okay, today the requirement here is to determine the pricing date based on quantity confirmed schedule line. Okay, before going to understand this requirement, let's understand the basic thing about pricing date, how it will be determined into sales order. Okay, let me log into system. Okay, as per the standard behavior, pricing date will be determined from sales document type controls only. The code is Vivo V8. Okay, let me show that in the system. Uh, Vivo V8 is a transaction code to access the sales document type controls. If I look for OR sales document type, if I double click here, okay, under the seg uh, section requested delivery date, pricing date, and purchase order date. So under the section, we have a field called purpose for pricing date. So this is a field PRDA TV. Okay, the backend database table, which will hold the sales document type controls are TV AK. And the field here is that PRD ATV. Okay, let me show you in the table as well. A 16 n table is TVAK. The field is PRD ATV. See the same field you can see in the database table level as well. So please remember this TVAK table which will be holding the sales document type controls information okay so here we have multiple options here so how the pricing date should be determined into sales order currently it maintained as blank that means proposal based on today's date let me try to create an order now then you'll understand how it works or okay uh, sold to party ship to party pure number and you see here the moment when i go inside this va01 screen after entering sales document type under sales area by default system determining the pricing date as december 12. how it's coming it's coming based on the config in the sales document type or here blank has been maintained blank means proposal based on today's date right okay if i update as a here now and i'm going to save this it will ask for a tr details let's click on okay okay now let me try to create order one more time va01 go inside and you see now earlier 
today's date has been determined as 23 12 now it determined at 25 12 that means as per this config it is determining as i have mentioned a here right so a means proposal based on delivery date and the header level right yeah so if i yeah 25 is maintained determined right as a delivery date same has been updated as pricing date as well okay so based on these four options i mean uh, yeah we have four options here one is based on today's date that's a blank value one is based on uh, request delivery date one is based on valid from to valid from date and contract start date but business requirement here is to determine the rising date based on scheduling date of a confirmed quantity right so in that uh, scheduling level we have a field b m e n g okay let me show you the screen table level so sc 16 n table is vbep so vbep is a table which will be storing the schedule lines data so here the field is confirmed quantity that is b m e n g this is a confirmed quantity the requirement here is that for any item if the quantity is even confirmed that date will be updated as in pricing date in the order level okay so we're not going to use the standard design the standard design saying that we can use either four of this option only but our requirement here is to get the pricing date according to the confirmed schedule and date in the order level okay so now understand how can we achieve this requirement okay so it's a pricing related changes so the program here is that where we can write our logic is the program is mv 45 afzz it has one user exit user exit pricing prepare tko mp right so that means we are going to update the price information on item level so that means this user exit will help to add the or modify the data into the pricing item communication structure that is komp or tkomp let me show you in the system sc38 okay, remember this transaction code sc38 this um, transaction code for ABAP editor web editor okay the program is mv 45 afzz okay, click on display okay user exit is pricing okay. is loading okay so if you closely observe here we have two kind of user exit one for tk user exit pricing prepare tkomk another for user exit pricing prepare tkomp that means if you want to manipulate the header communication structure of pricing we should use this this uh, tkomk user exit if you want to manipulate and modify any values in the pricing item communication structure then we should use the tko mp only right and we are going to determine the pricing date based on the confirmed schedule lines date item wise means then we should go inside this only 
okay so in this uh, user exit we should write our logic okay what logic that we need to add i will tell you now okay so so first we need to read the table right we need to read the table read the table vbep where confirm quantity is not equal to zero that means we are going to get the delivery date of confirmed quantity scheduled line from vbep table right so read table uh, xvbep okay so I, as i told you several times during run time debug mode i, I mean we have two kind of tables or structures one is y table or y structure x table or x structure y means it will holding the um, old values x means it will be holding the new values right so read table xvbep with key passner so passner equal to item first order items we should pass the passner here and b m e n g not equal to right so b m e n g not equal to zero okay so yeah we shouldn't add and inside this read okay so then what we need to do we need to update the date we are going to update the item pricing communication structure that is kompp prsdt remember this field prsdt let me show you in that sc11 as well um kompp play it's a pricing communication structure and look for prsdt okay here we don't have that let me look for kumk hmm prsdt fine sorry we need to update the header pricing structure not kump we should update kumk only okay so let's update ko mk prsdt equal to v um, vbep ep e.2 okay e.2 is a delivery date field in vbep table if i go to vbep you see that field you see delivery date e.2 so what we are doing here we are updating the um, confirmed quantity date to pricing date later we should update this field into vbkd prsdt as well so we need to update the same date into the vbkd table as well we have prsdt field in vbkd table as well let me show you that vbkd prsdt you see we have prsdt field in vbkd vbkd table as well right so we need to update this information into this table as well and moreover in vbkd table also we see the item wise data right so we need to update here as well same data vbep e.2 suppose if there is no if there is no confirm quality at all in that vbep table then the logic should update confirmed i mean uh, like should update the delivery date that means vbak e.2 then vbkd prsdt vbak e.2 let me show you that vbak e.2 so it's a request delivery date field in vbak table so if any any one of the schedule lines is confirmed then update the date as a pricing date this if nothing no schedule lines has been confirmed means take the request delivery date as in pricing date
Okay, so this is how we should write the logic inside this TKO MP structure because we are trying to update the pricing date for each and every item. Right? That's why we should write the code here only in the pricing user exit. So remember this user exit pricing prepare TKO MP. So with the help of this code only, we can fulfill the customer requirement. Hope this video will be very helpful to you. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. We will meet in the next video.